Columbia Moving Company? Uh, my name is Sandra Clark. I hired you guys to move me from Washington, D.C. to New York yesterday. Right. Well, listen, I just got here this morning and there seems to be a little mix-up concerning the delivery of my furniture. <laughs> Look, all I know is that somewhere in this town, some chef is trying to shove a pizza into my nightstand, okay? <laughs> this is the fourth time I call, not really now. Columbia Mover. Oh, well, finally. Last time I used a moving company endorsed by an ex-president. Stupid, <laughs> most accomplished, lowest forms. Of... Ah. <laughs> I'm sad. Oh. <laughs> Would you care for a beverage, a cookie, some pasta? Uh, no thanks. I'm uh, supposed to do some repacking. Go right ahead. <laughs> You mean the furniture? <laughs> oh, of course. I'm already late for work, so here's my key. Oh, great. You can keep that when you're finished. <laughs> you might need to get in touch with me. Here's my business card. Oh, great. Hey, you work for Midway Productions? The film company? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Actually, today's gonna be my first day. Oh. I'm gonna be heading up the wardrobe department. Yeah. You know, otherwise known as the backbone of the entertainment industry. You're right. <laughs> well, I sure am glad to meet you, ma'am. <laughs> I bet I've seen every movie they ever made. <laughs> we never made, sweetheart. <laughs> I'll get to work. <laughs> Ooh, I love New York. <gasps> CJ! Oh, what are you doing here? Hey, now, what kind of a boss would I be if I let my brand new fashion designer try to find her way around town all alone? <laughs> Good to see you again. <laughs> What's that for? Table by the window. <laughs> oh, CJ, you're such a kidder. <laughs> you didn't have to come pick me up. Well, you didn't mind when I did it back in Washington. CJ, now come on now. You promised that once I took the job up here, we'd keep things loose between us. So from now on, I only want to be judged on my ability to perform. My job, my job. CJ Banks? <laughs> I just saw you on the news the other night. Hey, man, I've been a fan of your stuff for years. <laughs> oh, hire him, Kurt. Hire him and give him to me. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. I mean, watching's one thing, but I think I'd be way too nervous to actually be in a porno movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's no big deal. Oh, you got, what the hell you mean porno movie? Don't get me wrong. As X-rated goes, nobody does it better than Midway. Oh, uh, great. Would you mind if I had a word alone a moment with Spielberg? <laughs> Love you, buddy. Love you. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I'll explain this now. <laughs> really, I can... Excuse me, ma'am. Does a Sandra Clark live here? Uh, yeah. Sandra Clark, 4C. Thank you. Right this way, man. <laughs> Let me guess. You're new in town, right? Yeah. But if you're gonna celebrate by snatching my purse, Mason, me, and throwing me to the trunk of an abandoned vehicle, you have to take a number. <laughs> Good night. Hey, hey, come here. My name's Stephanie Potter. I live across the hall. What are you doing walking around this time of night anyway? Looking for a job. Now, if you excuse me, I want to wash my hair for the gasoline drive. <laughs> I know where you could get a job. They need an assistant manager at the health club I do nails at. Well, I don't know about that, Stephanie. I mean, I didn't come all the way up here to watch a bunch of bored housewives jog the Janet Jackson songs. <laughs> I came up here because... I want excitement. Decent hours. I want a challenge. Good pay. I want to be somebody. Lots of men. I want the address. <laughs> I'll stop by. I'll get you in the morning. Deal? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. If this job is so great, how come you're not going for it? Because I'll be moving away soon. Well, actually, I shouldn't say me. I should say me and Roger. He's this guy I've been seeing. Oh, come to think of it, he's stopping by the club to rewire the lights at my station. I'll introduce him to you. 
Maybe he's got a friend for you. Oh, well, actually, I'm not much in the handyman. I figure if a man's got time to fix it, he's got time to buy you a new one. <laughs> I'll stop by. I'll get you in the morning. <laughs> Great. Thank you. You know, I think that may be the first time I ever said thank you to a woman. It's probably the first time it's ever been said in this town. <laughs> Welcome to New York. Sensations Health and Fitness Club, please hold. <laughs> well, you're next. How's it going? Fine, fine. Boy, they sure leave a lot of room for experience on these things, don't they? Don't worry about it. I'll put in a good word for you. But you don't even know me. Oh, it doesn't matter. My word doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Do you like something from the health food bar while you wait? I brought some chocolate with me. Thanks. <laughs> Love those earrings. <laughs> What'll it be? Oh, just give me a... Ma'am? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking of suitable names for blonde-haired black children. I beg your pardon? Never mind. Uh, I'll just have an orange juice. Right. So you're here to apply for the job, aren't you? Yeah. I'm Sanja, by the way. Oh, Sven. <laughs> Ooh, that's enough. Well, did it just get hot in here? Or is it me? Sultan, you're late. Oh, well, maybe so, sugar, but I feel early. <laughs> Actually, I had a private appointment at Mrs. Rutledge's this morning, and, uh, <clears throat> poor woman, you know, her husband just died, and she's lonely and confused, and I thought I'd just stop by out of the kindness of my heart. <laughs> Besides, it's only 20 to 12. Where'd you get the Rolex? What, you think I do things out of the kindness of my heart for free? God, you're a pig. Yeah, we'll paint it on the fence of my summer home, baby. <laughs> a new customer here, Mrs. Whitney. Mrs. Whitney. Mrs. Whitney. Mi <laughs> Mrs. Whitney. You know, when we spoke on the phone the other day, I had no idea that you were so beautiful. Oh, thank you. But I'm not Mrs. Whitney. Mrs. Whitney. Oh, Mrs. Whitney. You know, when we spoke on the phone the other day, I had no idea. His real name's Donnell Knight, but he calls himself Zoltan. They say if you're bad in this life, you come back as something lower. There sure must have been a pretty evil maggot out there somewhere. He must be good. The best in New York. Actually, he's responsible for over half the revenue this nail shop brings in, so Paula considers him untouchable. Sandra Clark! Oh, that's my cue. Good luck. Hi, I'm Nathan Pollock. Just uh, take a seat, please, Miss Clark. Thanks. <laughs> nice day, yeah. Try paying alimony. 
Okay, let's see. Education. Personal background. Experience. What's experience, anyway? What does it mean? Experience in love? Experience in school? Or perhaps it refers to those ups and downs we all experience just trying to get along on this roller coaster I like to call life. <laughs> Did you ever work in a health and fitness club before, Miss Clark? No. That's what it meant. Good day, Miss Clark. No, no, wait now, Mr. Pollock. Please don't make any hasty decisions. There are a lot of things I can bring to the job that don't even show up on an application, like... Oh, Mr. Pollock, please. I'm just not myself right now. I just moved. I drank nine orange juices. And, you know, it's just that... It's just that... There was that Don Ramirez versus Espinosa decision at the garden last month. Look, Mr. Clark, I can't... Wait a second. You saw that fight? Saw it? Huh. I don't think I'll ever forget the uh, virtual powder keg of anticipation that permeates the garden. Whenever uh, a local brawler matches up with an unheralded but fleet-footed ring gent... Yeah. i tell you what I'm going to do, Miss Clark. I'm going to give you a trial run at the job. Just a trial. You screw up, and you'll be out of here like beer through a Shriner. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Pollock. I'll be the best assistant manager you ever had, I promise. Yeah, I know you will. Now, the first thing I want to have... Lunch? Oh, I'd love to. I'm starving. <laughs> Did you get the job? A piece of cake. <laughs> Going to a meeting now, Miss Clark. After you tidy up the stock room, why don't you uh, give the plants a little water? Watering? Oh, wow, that sounds managerial. After I finish, may I dust the floor with my hair, please? <laughs> right, like you gals today would really do that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mr. Pollock. Why don't I straighten up the files in your office? Nothing radical. I figure we go slow at first, you know, actually get them into the filing cabinet. <laughs> then where do I put my socks? The washing machine? The file? Just leave the drawer open. Let them go where they want. Sandra. Here. This is my boyfriend, Roger. Roger. Sandra. Hi. Hi, Sandra. Heard a lot about you. Well, as long as you've never been to Washington, D.C., it's all true. Oh, <laughs> pleased to meet you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> this has been the worst week of my life. Last night, Jonathan tells me we have to postpone our trip to Switzerland because of his stupid merger with Ekoto Industries. Not that I don't understand the work ethic, mind you. But what do I ask? Just six or eight months off a year? I should have married a congressman. Pardon me, ma'am. Uh, Steph, I'm running low on copper wire. Mind if I use the phone? Oh, no, honey. Uh, use the one in Pollock's office. <laughs> Hello, sweet cakes. Roger. Listen, call Bob and tell him to cash in that money market and put it all into Ikoto Industries. New Hall's talking merger. <laughs> I told you this thing was going to work out. A few more tips like the last two from these old biddies, and we can start shopping for an island. Can I see you tonight? Ooh, beautiful. All right, I got to split now. You keep things warm for daddy, okay? Love you. How dare you? But I heard him say it. Yeah. I've been seeing this guy all this time, and suddenly I need you to tell me what's going on. But, Stephanie, why don't you just why listen? Why don't you just mind your own business? Going to lunch, Ben. I can see that you are lonely and confused and in need of a friend. So I thought I'd just drop by out of the kindness of my heart. Uh. 
Good morning, Sensations Health and Fitness Club. All our lines are busy right now. <laughs> but as a public service, we are pleased to present a medley of the Captain and Tennille's greatest hits while you're waiting for your call to be processed. Thank you for calling Sensations. <clears throat> Muskrat, muskrat, and your wife. Good morning. Anything happening? So then I said to William, why put all of your eggs into one basket? We don't know anything about Fogelthorpe Enterprises, even if they do have exclusive rights on the patent of this so-called wonder drug. <clears throat> Dang this old thing. Uh, pardon me, ma'am. Uh, Steph, I think I just burnt out the motor on this drill. Mind if I step out for a few and get a new one? No, honey. Great. Uh, I'll see you later. Okay. I can't let this happen. I can't. Take hey, cowboy. Why don't you give Stephanie a break and tell her what you're doing? What I'm doing? What am I doing? We both know what you're doing. We were both in Paula's office the other day when you did it. So come on now, for once in your life, tell her the truth. Why don't you tell her, huh? Hey, go ahead. You think she'll believe you? I don't think so. She loves me, kid. I'll see you in Bora Bora. Then won't you need this? It's your wallet. You left it on the floor. You need some money to buy a new drill, right? Come on, baby, you know how it is. See ya. Yeah. You knew, didn't you? Oh, hell, Sandra, what difference does it make? So we use me. People use people. It's the way we do it up here. That's a system. So get used to it. You're never gonna make it. Not here. No way. Oh, I'm gonna make it all right. That's the difference between us. I live life. I don't let life live me. You think you're the only one around here who life's been unfair to lately, huh? I talked to a woman today who not only got mugged in broad daylight, but had a gallon of Exxon unleaded poured all over her head while a whole crowd of people just stood around doing nothing. But you think she let that get her down? Moping around, blaming the system? Uh-uh, Stephanie. Because this woman, with her fine self, got right back up and acted as if nothing had happened. Hey, nothing did happen. She might have lost a little money, yeah, but the one thing she had that nobody, nobody can take is her self-respect. You know who that woman is? Yeah, you. No, nope, me. That's why I'm gonna make it. I am gonna make it. Now, if you don't want to get involved, that's your business. But when I see someone, especially somebody that I care about getting in trouble, I'm gonna get involved, real involved. Now, that's my sister. Never seen it work. You never seen me work. <laughs> Isn't that right, Pearl? <laughs> it's all in a day's work, Sandra. <laughs> oh, sometimes I'm so good I even impress myself. <laughs> you want to go to breakfast? Sure. <laughs> Come on, Pearl. You know, Sandra, I owe you one. I know. Breakfast is on me. I know. <laughs>